to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a bunch of different ways to style a white button down. This is a closet staple, one of my favorite wardrobe items, and honestly one of the most versatile pieces that I own. If you don't have a white button down, hopefully this video will inspire you to go get one because they seriously are so easy to style. And if you do have a white button down already, hopefully it will encourage you to break it out again and try it with new items in your closet. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to stick around. I do tons of fashion videos, how-to style videos, as well as some thrifting. So be sure to click that subscribe button and let's get into it. So starting out this video, I wanted to share some of my favorite styling tips when it comes to styling a white button down. Basically just showing you how to make it a little bit more form-fitting and more flattering altogether. So as you can see, the sleeves are a little bit long and they don't seem to stay up when I push them up. So I take these elastic hair ties or you can take just a normal hairband. And what you're gonna do is gather the sleeve around your hand and hold it. Attach the hair tie to your wrist. And then you're gonna fold the cuff over the hair tie and then begin to bunch up the sleeve. The hair tie just keeps it on your arm. So depending on like the size of your arm, you can use these small hair ties or you can just use a regular elastic band or a rubber band would work as well. So I'm doing both sides and this just keeps it up all day. That way you're not always fumbling with your shirt and trying to like keep pulling it up. Another thing I like to do with button downs is tie them in the front. It shows your waist off, gives you a little bit more of a figure. So what I do is I unbutton it from the bottom to kind of hit the top of my jeans. Then in the back, I like to fold it under and then gather in the front and secure it with one of those hair ties. After I've tied it, all you have to do is take the two front pieces and tie them in a single knot. Because we used one of the elastic bands, you don't have to double knot it. And as you can see, it just gives the shirt an overall more fitted feel and it does add some interest to a normal button down. So this is the shirt that I'm going to wear with all of the outfits. I'll be sure to link all of these down below in the description box. But this one is a slim fit. It works perfectly on my petite frame. So if you're looking for the perfect button down, I really highly suggest this one. I actually thrifted this next button down, but I believe it's Alice and Olivia. It's one of my nicer pieces and I love the big bow in the front and the bell sleeves because I feel like it really dresses up what would just be a plain button down shirt. So this is a little bit more of a dressy option. And this last top is from Madewell. It's the most casual button down that I own and I've actually linked this exact one down below. It's a very popular style. They always bring it back every year, but I love the fit of it and I love how long the sleeves are on it. It's super cute in the summer tied. So to start out styling, I figured I would just begin with the basics. Jeans are a super easy thing to throw on with any type of white button down. There are so many different kinds of jeans as well, so you can really mix and match, switch up different looks. I've got on a pair of Madewell skinny jeans. I love kind of the darker wash contrasted with the white button down. I also love that you can wear a white button down with a ripped pair of jeans. These are my favorite jeans. They're called the Vintage Jean and they're from Madewell. I have them linked down below and I believe they're currently on sale. So if you want to snatch up that deal, I highly suggest it. They are seriously my favorite pair of denim I've ever owned. Wearing black jeans with a white button down instead of a pair of blue jeans changes the look completely. All of a sudden, you look way more like dressed up and classy. I've paired this outfit with a really pretty loafer. 
You could also wear heels with this really easily and it would be a great dinner look. Adding in the mom jeans just makes the look really casual. This would be a great everyday look. You also could wear some sneakers with this outfit. I feel like that would be really cute. But these jeans are from Mott & Bow, the same place that I got my white button down and they're super flattering and most importantly, really comfortable. Another way to wear your white button down is leaving it open. I love having it almost like a jacket or a cardigan over any sort of tank top or dress. I think it's just a creative way to wear your white button down other than just tucking it in. So I've got it over one of my favorite thrifted tank tops and some cut off denim shorts. This look is a little bit more dressy than the denim shorts, but I love that your white button down can be worn so many different ways with so many different bottoms. So I love these linen shorts and I decided to pair them with a fun printed heel. Accessorizing is also a great way to dress up any sort of plain white top. Moving on to skirts now, this first look is pretty feminine. I love the floral pattern. I think the skirt is beautifully. I've decided to pair it with like a really thin strappy nude heel as well as tying my shirt in the front to kind of hit right at the waist. And to contrast the floral skirt I decided for this look, I would pair it with a black leather skirt. I love the silver buckling detail as well as the zipper. I feel like it's kind of edgy, but it's also feminine, so this is one of my favorite looks. This next look is a little bit hard to see, but they're kind of like linen suspenders. They're super wide in the legs, and I think the silhouette of this outfit is really pretty. I went ahead and tucked my top into the pants and then paired it with the heels. For this next look, I paired my white top with a black pinafore dress. These dresses have become super popular. I feel like I see them all the time at Free People and Madewell. You can get them in so many different colors. So I went ahead and linked a few different ones down below, but this dress works so well with t-shirts as well. They're pretty versatile. This next look is perfect for summer. I have on some medium pants that tie at the waist, so they're super comfortable and least fitting. I went ahead and tied my button down in the front and then decided to match my headband with my shoes. I love adding that pop of color to this outfit. I feel like it keeps it really fun. In almost all of my style videos, I somehow end up with an all white look. I don't know why, but I'm really drawn to an all white outfit. So I've paired my top with some of my favorite white denim from Madewell, and then I have on those same white loafers. Next, I've got on a pair of like gray work pants. This is probably one of the more professional outfits, but I've decided to tie my hair up with a scarf and then add some black patent leather heels. This next look is one of my favorites. I love these wide leg pants. Madewell carries them in so many different colors and because you have a white top on, you can literally pair it with whatever color you want. So I love these, they're super comfortable, they're really flattering and I've just decided to elongate the legs by adding a new heel. This next look is super beachy. I love these linen pants. They're really comfortable and pretty breathable. So I wear these pretty much every summer and I decided to keep it casual by tying my top and then pairing it with some woven flats. 
I got these pants a couple of years ago, but they're definitely some of my favorites. I love wearing them to events or meetings, basically anytime I want to look really put together or professional. This next look is perfect for fall. I love any sort of long cardigan or duster, and I think it just pairs really well over the white button down. Again, I have on those black skinny jeans, but I love that you can really rewear pieces like these jeans and the shoes and the top. All you have to do is add a duster. So I really wanted to show you how you can rewear pieces and just change up outfits really easily. Keeping on those black skinny jeans, I went ahead and added a denim jacket to kind of dress down the look and then changed back into those white loafers. This is a really great casual look. And then wearing it unbuttoned again, this time over a slip dress. You could also tie it in the front and wear it almost like a top and then have this slip dress peek out so it looks like a skirt. So there's a couple different ways you could style it with any sort of strappy dress, but I chose to just wear it over it. Going back to the blue jeans, I decided to add a blazer. You could pretty much wear any color blazer over a white button down. I went with more of a relaxed fit blazer. This one is definitely more of a kind of stylish fashion piece rather than a business suit. So I love this pink blazer. I think it's so fun for the spring and summer. Those are all of my ways to wear a white button down top. I think I could have come up with some more, but for the purpose of this video, I tried to condense it as much as I could. Basically, what you should take from this video is that you can wear a white button down with almost anything and look so put together. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be sure to link all the pieces that I can down below in the description box. If you like this video though, please give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite look was. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you back for some more videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye!